Okay, we're just about at the end of this uh, speed, speed quality test. This is the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini doing the body for the Marvin TV version. This is the 25% uh, larger than the first one that I made. This one locks. It's using the N20 motor, which is a very small motor. This one is using a TT gear motor, which is much larger, so I needed to increase the size of it. This particular body that's on here was printed on my Pusha uh, MK3S and it takes, it took 9 hours and 20 minutes to print and that's just in a very standard mode, a 0 0.2 layer height standard quality. This one on the uh, A1 Bamboo Labs is uh, set for the same quality, the 0.2 and again it was on their standard quality setting and uh, did the supports the same way this one I would printed with three supports and I put them in the same place manually put them on manually put them on this one so support structure the same but the entire print time for this one has been right now three hours and ten minutes my guess is that it's going to wrap it up here in, in the next couple of minutes two to five minutes max and then we'll uh, take it off the plate and we'll see if we can notice any anything bad about it first. I mean, I point out all kinds of flaws on this one. And granted, this was painted. Originally, I was just going to do the test, paint them and compare, painted to paint them. But then I thought, no, why not actually show this thing doing its print job? Let's pull it off. Let's look at it just the way it is. Um, it's running slow now because it's starting to do a top layer, doing a fill, and it'll speed back up again to where it's... I mean, this is about as fast as the uh, the Prusa goes in any mode. And this is as slow as this thing goes. So once it accomplishes whatever it's doing right now, doing a top layer, there, look at it, it's just crazy fast. Three times quicker than this one. And if I wanted to tweak settings, I bet I could get up to five times, but most of the tests that I've seen on YouTube where people tweak them up like that at five times you actually can start to see the the quality has gone down a little bit. I don't want the quality to go down. I'd like the quality to be the same or better just quicker and that's what I've seen so far on all the parts. All the parts on this except for the body were printed on this one and they all were three times quicker than the Prusa could do. Should be just about wrapped up, it says it's 99% on the uh, screen. So it's just finishing the top layer, which I expected would go slower, because it's supposed to be more of a, a quality layer. I don't have ironing on or anything like that. Like I say, pretty much kept all the settings the same. The only thing I let the uh, Bamboo Labs slicer do was all of its speed things. So. We'll just have to stand here and be bored for a couple of minutes, or maybe one minute, because it's got to be just about done. I think it's got a little bit of fill to do over here on this corner, and if it doesn't do another layer, then I think it'll be done. Alright. it be done. Now one thing I didn't bother to support on either of them was this little lip that's under the body here. So I expected a little bit of droopage there and a few other places because it's easier to clean up than it is to spend all the time running supports up to that point. Not time but it's also a waste of uh, filament. So here you can see the tree support on the back. And I had put a small brim around it just to make sure it wouldn't come off. So far I haven't needed any tools to pull off the support, so that's good. So you can see the tree supports going in and basically um, holding up the bottom of the battery box. OK, 
Okay, so that all looks clean. Here's one of the scraggles that I expected to have. Because like I say, I didn't put any support along there. Normally I do is I just take the exacto blade and just clean that one little edge off. Like I say it isn't worth the time of putting supports there when you can just snip and remove that. Same with the top. That's a sacrificial hole that uh, I normally cut out. Let's cut out just so we can see inside. So we can see how it looks not only on the outside but on the inside. I'm trying not to cut my wrist here. Let me go off camera so I don't cut myself. Almost got it. Let's put a new blade in this uh, X-Acto knife. And that's when I always cut myself when the thing is super mega sharp. I never seem to cut myself when they're dull. Okay, I'll clean this up a bit more later. Point is, I've got the majority of the hole open so we can see down in there it's super super clean down in there let's uh, do a test fit on that hole there's a there's a translucent part that I put in there and put a color changing uh, LED in and I'm, I'm trying to pop it in from the inside oh yeah fit perfect. Just right. Let's pop it back out before I lose it. So, close-up view. No stringing at all, which is nice because the my Prusa always has some stringing issues. One little teeny goober up there, but nothing to worry about. Support up there worked fine. Uh, this is just uh, boy, really nice. So much nicer than uh, even what I was getting off my Prusa, and three times quicker. And if you consider the price of just the, the machine being like three hundred bucks, a whole lot cheaper too. <laughs> I could definitely see getting a three of these for the price of one of the, the Prusas and really cranking out a lot of parts so there you have it the speed quality test of the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini